Okay, we just finished up with the sun and we're going to start the next three minutes and hopefully I'll remember. We finished up with the sun where we get all the things we like and laugh and love and those sort of things. Well, not love wasn't there, but laugh was there and laughing. So when we go to the hammer, these are you work, this is your occupations. You get the word work, these are occupations. PT, uh, everybody loves the PT. Yes, I love going to my PT. Nobody, uh, the aide uh, is good. Everybody knows your aide is your favorite person. Now, the aide is also the person who helps you remember to go to the house. That's where you get the word bathroom. Oftentimes, your aide in school helps with the bathroom or they help with drinking, that sort of thing. Now, the no, there's not a person, teacher, excuse me, I was going to go to no for the speech therapist. Nobody likes their speech therapist. I've, I mean, everybody, speech therapists are too demanding on us. We sometimes don't like our speech therapists. And some teachers are good and some teachers are bad. Most teachers are really good. Uh, the concept of the teacher there with Reed is going to come when we go to the uh, kitchen, when we go to the bedroom, we're going to get the word bookcase because teachers teach you to read books. So when we go to the work, it makes sense we would get a teacher there. And then uh, the nurse, we already covered this one time. The nurse helps you with things like when you need a tissue, that's why you get tissues go to there and that's why when you go to occupations you go there or when you go to feel you get frustrated because you're very frustrated with your nurse okay so we were leaving off with occupations the other thing you went through there the doctor this one makes really good sense to me the doctor goes with body parts and uh so you see why when you go you need health you go to the doctor all right the, the money makes perfect sense it starts with this it starts over here the one that's Mine is the coin. So when I go to money related words here, makes sense. The littlest one we use anyway in the United States is the penny. We don't have a half penny anymore. So then it goes up just based in order, nickel, and you, everybody flips, flip a nickel, flip it up and flip it up in the air. Going to make some more fun. Uh, the uh, dime, uh, it's fine to get a dime. Everybody likes that. And then the quarter, you Again, you get your thumb going. They usually they do actually use, oftentimes they use a quarter. So get the quarter there with the thumb, but they're doing them in order there. All right, so your feelings. It's the next one over. I think you're going to have time to do this. You're happy when someone writes you a letter. And you hopefully you're just a little crazy, but you do drive me a little crazy, whether I want to admit it or not. You are a little crazy. And then you're up, you're sick, you throw up, you get sick. How do you know that uh, the thermometer, that's the difference between a rectal thermometer and a oral thermometer? It's an old joke, but the taste. So that's why if you get the wrong one, you can taste your thermometer, it's going to make you sick and you're going to throw up. It kind of looks like a thermometer going in your mouth there. All right, you're feeling with yes, it's shy. It's actually very, yes, I'm a little shy. I'm kind of scared of some of the things I should do. And then it's good to be a little worried. All right, I got to stop there and finish that one in a second. All right, we'll come back to more body parts or more feelings here in just a second. 